Today I'm checking out the world's first super sport utility vehicle, the Lamborghini Urus. I'm Matt DeBoer. I get behind the wheel of the hottest cars and test them in real world scenarios. Today, I'm taking my kids for a ride in the Lamborghini Urus to see if it's kid approved. Then, I'm heading to Ikea to see just how much cargo this SUV can handle. This is Real Reviews from Cars Insider. There have been a lot of headlines over the course of the last year about the Lamborghini Urus because it's such an odd vehicle. A lot of reviewers have asked how much of a supercar can an SUV really be? We're here to find out how much of an SUV this Lamborghini can be, and my first errand is going to be taking my kids to school. Today I have a test. You have a test today? Yeah. Wow. What do you guys think of the Lamborghini? Is it cool? Pretty cool. Is it pretty yeah. cool? It's pretty dope. Hey, let me ask a question though. What? You guys have driven around in a couple of Lamborghinis at this point. How do you think this one compares to those other Lamborghinis? Do you think it stacks not good, up? Not More leg room. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that uh, this is a real Lamborghini? Or is it just a great big yellow SUV that says Lamborghini? Uh, it's a great big yellow SUV that says Lamborghini. Are you a little skeptical that it's a real Lamborghini? I don't, it, I don't care even if it is a Lamborghini because it doesn't even look good. Dante, but like it's basically the same. It's just like a slightly less fast with more room and stuff. Do you think the world needed a Lamborghini SUV or is the world fine? The world yeah. it definitely did want a lot more of pollution, so no. No? The world did not need a Lamborghini SUV. You don't think so? Harsh well, critic, you? harsh critic. He is a harsh critic, isn't he? Well, here we are at school. Okay, guys. See you later. Have a great day at school. Yeah, you too, Dad. Okay. I'm going to work hard today. You guys learn some stuff, okay? Sorry. Get educated. Education is the key to success. Now that the kids are at school, it's time to head to Ikea. But first, let's talk performance. The Urus has six driving modes on its Anima selector. Strata for everyday driving, Sport for peppier street driving, and Corsa for the track. It's also got a few off-road modes, Saba, Terra, and Neva. It's not gonna behave like a Jeep Wrangler or Land Rover, but it could be a nice rally car. In addition to these settings, it also has Ego Mode, which lets you customize the steering, suspension, and throttle response for your optimal driving experience. But what really sets the Urus apart is Corsa Mode. Corsa Mode lets you max out the 641 horsepower and 631 pound-feet of torque that the engine is putting out. That's gonna give you a zero to 60 time of about three and a half seconds. And I think it's about time to put it to the test. So here we are in fifth gear. We're gonna pass this Dodge in front of us, drop it down into third. We're gonna hang out in third for a second, listen to it up around 5,000 on the red line. I'm gonna tip in the throttle and get ready to go up to fourth and then punch it through to fifth and see what it sounds like. So I'm just hanging here and I'm gonna hammer it. Off we go, very quick. Very quick in Corsa mode. As far as the performance goes, you know, I, I like Corsa mode in Lamborghinis because you do get the sound. I like the sound. And you, can, you don't have to be going fast to make the car make crazy noises. You just have to shift the gears and let it do its thing. It really just kicks you. It kicks you hard. Does it kick you as hard as one of the supercars? Maybe not. You know, are you asking for an SUV to kick you as hard as a supercar? I don't think you're asking for an SUV to kick you as hard as a supercar. I don't think that's really what you want. All right, so here we are. Park the car. Can the super sports utility vehicle handle some flat pack stuff? Oh. Will it fit? Will it fit? What are the odds? What are the odds that it fits? Oh no, about eight inches. The only thing we might be able to do is, oh, we could try this. 
I'm gonna remove this piece. I have removed this part of the urus. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This will work. It's, 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 it's gonna work. It's gonna meet the challenge. We're gonna have to protect the leather, of course, with this towel that we luckily brought with us. Right. I'm gonna protect this part. Ta-da! This is fantastic! Okay, now we just have to put these things back in. Let's see if it closes up. Success! Success! Now that we know the Urus can handle a fair amount of cargo, let's talk more about the inside. The interior of the Urus looks good. It's covered in premium materials. Lamborghini paid close attention to detail. Our test vehicle had the sports package, complete with massively adjustable bucket seats that actually feel pretty comfortable even though they're well bolstered for performance driving and the seats can be heated and cooled to your preference. The infotainment system is pretty much ripped right out of an Audi, and it's quite intuitive to use. It has a two-screen setup. The top screen is used for navigation, managing media, navigating through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. The bottom screen lets you control climate, and you can interact with some of the media settings down there as well. The touchscreen does take some getting used to. I found myself taking my eyes off the road a bit to make sure that I was pressing the right buttons. And here's a little icing on the cake. The Lamborghini Urus has wireless charging and a Bang & Olufsen audio system that sounds absolutely incredible. Overall, the interior of the Lamborghini Urus feels ferociously sporty and exquisitely premium. We set out to determine whether this Lamborghini Urus SUV could be a real Lamborghini, and you know what? It sure as heck is. We took this car to Ikea, and we were able to get a bunch of stuff in the back. Check, that's a great SUV. We were able to drive my kids to school, and they enjoyed the ride. We were able to take it out on the highway and go around at wonderful, exciting velocities and check out the speed and performance of this machine. We did all those things, and it's still every bit of Lamborghini. I mean, you might you know, be like I was in the beginning and say, ah, oh, geez, it's not a Huracan, it's not an Aventador. Come on, it's not a real Lamborghini. They just took an Audi SUV and they turned it into a Lamborghini. That is not the case at all, folks. Let me tell you, this thing is every bit of it a Lamborghini. I gotta hand it to Lamborghini. They've done an absolutely wonderful job with this piece of machinery.